So guys, in this particular video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make $500 in a single trade simply by trading spots on Binance. So as you all know, when it comes to Binance spot trading, the overall aim is to buy low and sell high. So you are going to have to buy a particular asset or a particular cryptocurrency at a lower price so that when the cryptocurrency rises up in value, you can sell it at a much higher price and make profit. And keep in mind, Binance Spot Trading is very suitable for beginners. So if you are probably starting up in the crypto space, Binance Spot Trading is the best way to get started with because of that level of simplicity that it has. And also keep in mind, in as much as it is very suitable for beginners and it is very simple, you also need to keep the risks at the back of your mind. Because for the matter of fact, there are some scenarios if you buy a particular asset and be expecting the asset to appreciate in the future, and unfortunately, the assets start going even further down below your entry. So in that kind of scenario like that, the only way you can incur losses is when you sell off the asset. That's when you sell off the asset on loss. But for the matter of fact, if you keep on holding the asset, there are high probability that the asset is going to rise up again in the near future for you to make your profit. But knowing the right time to buy it and be selling it really plays a significant role. So you wouldn't have to be entering the market blindly. And if you enter the market blindly, the market is going to be taking you out blindly. So knowing the right time to get into the coin on the Binance spot and be selling really plays a major role. So you would have a clue of what you are doing. That's the more reason this video is up today. So I can get to show you a very simple yet most effective strategy that you can literally use to spot the rightful cryptocurrency so as to be able to use it to implement on the Binance spot as well as knowing the right time to buy it low and be selling high. So if that sounds like what you are interested in and you literally want to know how you can go about all of this, do smash the like button for me and sub up to the channel if you haven't already so you wouldn't miss our subsequent videos. So without further ado, let's quickly dive into the main deal of the day. So first thing first, like I told you, we are going to have to choose a particular cryptocurrency so as to be able to use it to implement on the Binance spot as well as knowing the right time to buy it low and be selling high. So you wouldn't have to be entering the market blindly. So first thing first, to be able to spot those rightful cryptocurrency so as to be able to use it to implement on the Binance spot, there are some various factors I do put in consideration to be able to choose the rightful cryptocurrency to be able to implement it on the Binance spot. Because for the matter of fact, there are hundreds if not thousands of cryptocurrency that you can literally use to implement on the Binance spot. But like I said, I'm going to have to be showing you some factors that I do put in consideration before picking any cryptocurrency to implement on the Binance spot. That's the more reason I'm going to have to be adding on to this application or will I say an algorithm called coinmarketcap.com. So up into your browser and type in coinmarketcap.com or you can choose to use CoinGigo but let's reference everything to coinmarketcap.com as it is more self-explanatory compared to this coin giggle okay so the moment you are at the coinmarketcap.com 
you are going to have to be adding on to this interface called filter because we are going to have to be filtering those cryptocurrency so as to be able to use it to implement on the binance spot so right after clicking on the filter button you'll be welcome with category algorithm platform industry and the last button here called add filter okay so click on the add filter right there and on the add filter button there are a lot of category on the add filter button from all cryptocurrencies market cap price percentage change volume circulating supply and varieties of them but our main focus is going to be first on the volume as the volume plays a main role when it comes to trading spots on binance so you would be able to be trading with cryptocurrency that other people are interacting with it so for the volume like i said stick to 1 million to 10 million and click on applied and then you off over to the price and switch it up to one dollar to 100 and click on applied again and thereafter you up into the circulating supply this particular one is the main role player here because the lower the circulating supply is to a particular cryptocurrency the more higher the chances that the cryptocurrency is going to perform dramatically well in the near future because come to think of it if a particular product has a very little supply when the demand is you know saturated with the supply there will be no more supply which will make the people that bought it already tend to increase the price so that's the more reason i said the lower the circulating supply is to a particular cryptocurrency the higher the chances that the cryptocurrency is going to outperform in the near future dramatically okay so that's the more reason i'm going to be sticking to probably like 10 to 100 million so i wouldn't have to be looking for those huge circulating supply coins so let's stick to 10 million to 100 million and thereafter you click on applied and after doing all of that for both the price the volume the circulating supply you then click on show results as the last stage so this is where the main cryptocurrency comes in because there are varieties of them that you can literally use to implement on the binance spot but for the sake of this video i'm going to have to choose a particular one and let us use it to implement on the binance spot if you intend to use any one out year of your choice it is pretty much up to you provided this strategy i'm about to show you are met on the one you picked so let's quickly go for this particular one here called cvx okay let's click on it real quick there and thereafter the moment you are at the page of the cryptocurrency you are going to have to quickly look up the cryptocurrency and see how the cryptocurrency has performed in the previous years okay so right now you can see that when i click on more information right there you get to realize that this cryptocurrency has only performed about 79 percent in the last three years that's to show you that when those huge potential buyers comes in it is going to outperform dramatically okay but let's quickly up into binance and see how we can buy it low and be selling high so up into your binance and then search for the cvx okay and click on the face result shown right there so right now as you can see the cryptocurrency is currently traded at about you know 3.390 dollar so to be able to know the right time to buy it low and be selling high 
that's the more reason we are going to have to be using this particular application called trading view so as to be able to know the right time to buy it low and be selling high keep in mind the trading view i'm about to show you is the same thing applicable to the binance chart right here so right here on the trading view you are going to have to be adding on to this icon here called you know this cryptocurrency icon that you can literally search for varieties of cryptocurrencies okay okay right here so click on it and thereafter you search for the cryptocurrency which is called cvx okay cvx usdt and thereafter you click on the first result shown right there and right here on the cvx let us quickly make a very simple yet most effective you know confirmation so as to help us take the rightful decision either to buy it now and be expecting those huge gains or we would probably have to be waiting for the confirmation to be met so the strategy is pretty simple all you would need to do is to mark in your previous support level that was previously broken so keep in mind i am currently on the one day time frame because i want to know the overall trend of the coin so as you can see we add a little bit of support around here and when price literally breaks out of that support level it was meant to use it as you know a present support to continue even further up but rather when price got here it now gives us a very good buying pressure here yeah? not knowing that it is going to be going down to stop out those early buyers so now the price is literally down right here in respect of stopping out those early buyers so right now our target is going to be around this zone because price is literally going to be going up here to give those buyers an opportunity to go off the market again so the price is literally going to be going to 25 dollar so as to be able to give those buyers an opportunity to go off the market but that's not really the case because with the up of buying pressure around the zone that will give us a more confident you know give us that confidence that the market is going to be going up here so that's the more reason we need to draw in a trend line as the second confirmation so as to be able to validate the first confirmation so the trend line is pretty simple we had to put in something called chart pattern and this chart pattern is obviously what we call a bearish chart pattern and usually a bearish chart pattern like this usually goes bullish okay so as you can see the chart pattern here is a bearish chart pattern which it is going to be going bullish so at this point in time our confirmation has been made which we are going to have to implement it right off the back and be aiming for the 25 dollar so right now i'm going to be aiming to be buying the coin right now so we should be able to you know place in our sell limits order at 22 or probably like 25 dollar and be expecting those huge gains and keep in mind in this kind of strategy you should only be trading with the money that you can afford to lose because for the matter of fact the overall aim of trading sports was meant to look at a long term approach but a lot of people can still do the speculating aspect of it which you can make money in a short period of time but if you are literally going to be looking at a long term approach and be holding the coin for a long period of time you should only be you know using the money that you can afford to lose to be buying the coin so that if at all the market doesn't respect your decision 
you ought to be staying on the safe side. So in my own case, I'm going to be using $400 to be buying the coin. So we should be able to be expecting those huge gains to about $25 or $22. So right now, I should be able to buy at 3.386 or 3.387 approximately there. I'm be placing in my sell limit order at 22 something there. So if the market respects the decision, we are going to be making over $2,000 as you can see right there. So I'm going to have to place in the sell limit order right off the back there and then be expecting those huge gains in the future. So I think that'll be all for now because I'm going to have to be holding on to the coin let us see the outcome of it okay and if you probably want to be included in my premium student group i have a specific link down in the description below so click that first link and register and you are going to be added on to the group in no time and keep in mind it is not a free group you probably have to pay a little amount of money and you'll be added on to the group in no time so in the meantime, let us see how the trade played out. I'm going to keep you all updated as well.